so earthquake uh, the earthquake has two character uh, for to measure a earthquake we basically have to measure two characteristics the magnitude and the intensity so when we are talking about the magnitude of an earthquake we are basically measuring the energy release and intensity intensity is basically the strength of shaking okay so strength of shaking so magnitude is the energy released during the earthquake amount of energy and intensity is the strength of shaking so this strength of shaking this is observed at the structure okay so same structure i mean different same earthquake in different structure both of the structure will shake differently so the intensity will be different at each of the structure but the magnitude for a same uh, earthquake will be same because when it is generating the energy release the energy release will be the same so magnitude same intense for the same earthquake magnitude will be fixed value intensity can be different intensity when if you are standing in a uh, one story building the intensity if you are uh, standing in a 20 story building the intensity will be different okay so this was the concept of magnitude and intensity so now we will do a math on intent uh, earthquake uh, magnitude so art so earthquake uh, magnitude magnitude that is measured in richter scale okay so richter scale this richter scale was developed by charles f richter he developed this scale in 1935 and this scale is used to uh, measure the magnitude of an earthquake now we will learn about how this richter scale uh, richter scale was uh, uh, i mean how we can calculate so the charles uh, using richter scales the charles richter's formula the formula is formula is m m is the magnitude of an earthquake that is log a plus 3 log 8t minus 2.92 okay so now here m m is the magnitude so a is basically i have already stated about seismograph so you remember seismograph and when we are talking uh, when the seismograph is uh, vibrating it creates a pattern right so that vibration that oscillation this amplitude this displacement this displacement is a and a so a is basically the maximum displacement and one thing is very very important in this formula we have to put a in millimeter this is very very important if i give you a, a displacement in inch you have to convert it in millimeter if i give you in meter you have to convert it in mi millimeter if i give you in centimeter you have to convert it into millimeter always you have to put a in millimeter unit in this formula you have to put a in millimeter unit so if i give you 1 inch you have to convert it into 1 inch is equal to 25.4 millimeter so you have to write down 25.4 millimeter okay you have to convert and you have to always uh, 
give answer uh, a in millimeter now 3 3 is 3 log uh, is log 8 and t so t t is basically so let me write in here okay as uh, you already know that the earthquake is basically wave so this wave i've already told you that it is a combination of P wave and S wave. So basically primary wave and secondary wave. First when an earthquake starts, there is basically first there is a primary wave, then there is a secondary wave and then with this combination we get a surface wave. So when there is a start of P wave and then there is coming S wave, so in between the P wave and S wave there is a time difference. That time difference is the time in seconds between the arrival of P wave and S wave. And that is a time and it has to be measured in seconds. It has to be in seconds. So if I give you in hour, you have to convert it into second. If I give you in minute, you have to convert it into second. Okay. So M, it is a function of A and T. And with that formula, A has to be in millimeter, T has to be in second. Okay, so now, now let's do a math. So the math problem is if the maximum displacement is 23 millimeter and the time between the arrival of P wave and S wave is 40 second, calculate the magnitude of the earthquake. So it is stated that maximum displacement for an earthquake, the maximum displacement measured in a seismograph machine A is equal to 23 millimeter and the time between the arrival of P wave and S wave, so the time between P and S wave, T is equal to 40 seconds. So now I want to know what is the magnitude. As we know, magnitude is equal to log of A plus 3 log 8T minus 2.92 so if i put the value log then the maximum displacement let me check it is 23 and what is the unit it is millimeter so as i can i have to put only in millimeter it is okay i don't need to convert so i'm directly writing 23 okay plus 3 log 8 into now the time difference between P wave and S wave and it is given 40 seconds. So 40, I can write 40, is it in, in second? Yes, it is already in second. So I don't need to convert it again. So I can directly write 40 minus 2.92. So equals to, we can write, the answer is 5.960. Zero. So, it is very important that when we are writing displacement in Richter scale, uh, sorry, magnitude in Richter scale, you always need to write up to fourth decimal point. If there is no fourth decimal point, you just have to write zeros. Okay, always you have to write up to four decimal points when you are writing in Richter scale. So, now as I have already uh, showed you that we can classify earthquake into seven categories using Richter scale. So you already know the seven categories. So now tell me that uh, now we need to find out that what type of what type of earthquake was it? As the value is 5.96, we know that up to magnitude 6 to 6.9 is called strong earthquake. So let me write it in here 
that we know earthquake are minor minor earthquake is base um, sorry we can we start with micro micro earthquake is less than that is less than 3 richter scale m value less than 3 magnitude less than 3 is micro type earthquake then we get minor minor is up to 3 to 3.9 3 to 3.9 is minor then we get light light is 4 to 4.9 then we get moderate moderate is 5 to 5.9 and strong strong is 6 to 6.9 and after that we get major major is 7 to 7.9 and lastly we have great so great earthquake is greater than 8 okay so now look at here our earthquake value is 5.96 so 5.96 uh, do not fall in the moderate range because 5 up to 5.9 we can call moderate and strong starts from 6 but it is 5.96 so what we will write we will not we will not write that it is moderate we will write it is strong because it is close to 6 it is greater than 5.9 so we can write it is strong so the type is it is it is a strong earthquake. So that will be your answer. You have to write down the Richter scale value and then you have to using this chart you have to classify your earthquake. So for doing your math in the exam please keep in mind that you have to put A in millimeter. The displacement in millimeter, the time in second in the formula and you have to classify the map using this Richter scale uh, classification. And also you must write up to 4 decimal points. Richter scale value up to 4 decimal points. If you do this, you are good to go. This is a pretty simple map. You, I think, I believe that you can do it. Thank you.